Hello everyone! This is Sir Dan Apostol. In this video, we are going to discuss the angle of elevation and depression. So, ito yung application ng 6 trigonometric ratios in real life problem solving. First, let us define what is an angle of elevation. So, angle of elevation is the angle above the horizontal line that an observer must look in order to see an object that is higher than the observer. So, ang keyword natin dito is to look up. Ibig sabihin, tumingin sa ibaba or tumingin sa taas. So, pag sinabing angle of elevation, it means to look up. So, let's uh, take a look of this illustration. So, ito yung observer natin, itong taong to. Then, ito yung inoobserbahan niyang object, itong Eiffel Tower. Siyempre, sa unang tingin, meron tayong tinatawag na initial line of sight. So, mga kabutan yung imaginary line of sight. Initial, which is called the horizontal line of sight. Then, tinignan niya yung pinakataas ng tore, yung Eiffel Tower, pinakataas ng Eiffel Tower. So, nagbago siya ng line of sight. Meaning, ito na yung line of sight niya. Ito na yung tinatawag nating line of sight above the horizontal line of sight. Kasi tumingin siya sa taas. Then yung angle na nabuo ng horizontal line of sight and the line of sight above, ito yung tinatawag nating angle of elevation. So again, meron tayong initial na line of sight which is horizontal line of sight. Then kung titignan niya yung object sa ibabaw, meron siyang panibagong line of sight which is the line of sight above the horizontal line of sight. Then yung angle na nabuo nung dalawang line of sight, that is called the angle of elevation. Next is angle of depression. Angle of depression is the angle below the horizontal line that an observer must look in order to see an object that is lower than the observer. Or yung keywords natin ay look down. So, ito yung ating illustration. Ito yung airplane natin. Then, yung observer natin, yung initial line of sight niya, yung horizontal line of sight. Nakakita siya ngayon ng isang object or yung uh, tao sa baba na bago yung line of sight niya, nagkaroon tayo ng line of sight below the horizontal line of sight. Then, yung angle na nabuo ng dalawang line of sight, itong angle na to, yan yung tinatawag nating angle of depression. Next, para mas malinaw sa atin, ito yung uh, representation or illustration ng dalawang angles. So, ito yung observer natin. Ito yung initial line of sight niya or yung horizontal line of sight. Pag tumingin siya sa object sa taas, may mabubuong angle doon. That is the angle of elevation. And pag nakakakita siya ng object sa baba, tinignan niya, may mabubuong angle doon from the line of sight. Ito yung angle of depression. So, look up yung angle elevation and look down yung angle of depression now let us apply this concept in solving problems related to right triangle so number one at a point on the ground 50 feet from the foot of the plug pole the angle of elevation to the top of the pole is 53 degrees find the height of the plug pole so in solving problems or in dealing with this problem kailangan muna natin i-analyze. Sabi dyan, at a point on the ground, 50 feet from the foot of the plug pole. So meaning, kailangan natin i-illustrate or i-drawing para mas maintindihan natin at mas masold natin to na mas madali. So since meron tayong plug pole, illustrate natin yung plug pole. At a point daw on the ground, so dito, yan, ito yung point natin at a ground, Yung measurement doon niya from that point ay, or yung distance niya from that point ay 50 feet. Then yung angle of elevation na nabubuo from this point to the top, from this point to the top is 53 degrees. So, ito yung, uh, yung mabubuo nating imaginary line from this point to the top of the plug pole. Yung uh, angle of elevation dyan, itong angle na to, ay 53 degrees hanapin daw natin yung height of the plug pole so hahanapin natin yung height nito let us represent the unknown as x 
Kasi nga, ayun yung hahanapin. So, kung mapapansin natin dito, yung reference angle natin ay 53 degrees. Now, ano kayang trigonometric ratios ang pwede natin gamitin in order to solve for the value of x? So, ang technique lang dyan, tignan nyo yung may given na side and yung unknown. Yun lagi yung included natin para malaman natin kung ano yung trigonometric ratio. So, in this uh, example, ito yung reference angle natin. Ang may value or given ay itong side na to. So, meaning, ito yung adjacent side. So, meron tayong 50 feet. And yung hinahanap, kung makikita natin sa triangle na to, na buong triangle na to, itong hinahanap, yung height ng plug pole, is the opposite side of the reference angle. So, meaning, meron tayong opposite and adjacent So, ang gagamitin natin ay tangent ratio. So, tangent is opposite over adjacent. Para mahanap yung x, let's substitute. So, yung theta natin, that is 53 degrees. Kaya magiging tangent 53 degrees. And yung opposite side natin is yung x. etong uh, height of the plug pole. And yung adjacent side natin is 50 feet. So, over 50 Then, cross-multiply. So, meron ditong 1, uh, yung tangent 53 degrees, meron yung denominator na 1. Then, let's cross-multiply. So, that is 1 times x, that is x, and 50 times tangent 53 degrees, that is 50 tangent 53 degrees. Kung gagamitan natin ito ng calculator, or ikakalculate natin ng calculator, ang magiging value nito pag nilagay natin sa calculator ay 66.35 feet. So, therefore, the value of x is 66.35 feet. So, nakita natin na nakuha natin yung height ng plug pole by using the trigonometric ratio. Number 2 example. From an airplane at an altitude of 1,200 meters, the angle of depression to a building on the ground measures 28 degrees. Find the distance from the plane to the building. Again, analyze natin yung problem and illustrate or draw para mas madali natin masolve yung problem natin. So, from an airplane daw, so we have airplane at an altitude of 1,200 meters. So, yung taas nung nililipad ng airplane natin ay 1,200 meters from the ground. The angle of depression to a building, so meron dapat tayong building kasi nga, uh, yan yung uh, isa pa nating object measures uh, 28 degrees. So, meron tayong horizontal line of sight dito. Yung angle of depression na mabubuo from this uh, airplane to the building ay 28 degrees. Ito. Now, let us find the distance from the plane to the building. So, kukunin natin itong distance na to to the building. Or, ito. Yun nandito. So, para mas mapadali yung ating uh, pag-solve, Gamitin natin itong triangle na to. Since etong angle na to and yung mabubuong angle dito, etong angle na to, yan, ay equal. Kung maaalala natin na yung dalawang parallel lines, pag kinat ng transversal, may mabubuo yung uh, angles inside. Ang tawag dito sa angles na to ay alternate interior angles. And alternate interior angles are congruent or equal. Kaya pwede nating sabihin na itong angle na to ay 28 degrees ren. So by using this angle of depression para mas madali nating makuha itong distance. So ito from this from this point to this point, itong distance ng plane to the uh, building. So meron na tayo ditong uh, value ng isang side ng triangle. Kung makikita natin mga kabutay ng triangle dito. Yan. Ang hahanapin natin ito. So let as represent that as x kasi nga nawawala now, anong trigonometric ratio ang pwede natin gamitin in order to solve for the value of x so again, may given tayo itong side na to which is opposite side ng ating reference angle and itong hinahanap natin ay yung adjacent side so again, gagamitin natin ay tangent ratio so this tangent theta is equal to opposite over adjacent Now, let us substitute the values. Yung theta natin is 28 degrees. 
So that is 28 degrees. Tangent 28 degrees is equal to opposite. Opposite side is 1,200 meters. Ito. And adjacent side is X. Itong side na to. Now, to solve for uh, the value of X, again, cross multiply natin yan, then meron again na denominator na 1. So, cross multiply, X times tangent 28 degrees, that is X tangent 28 degrees, is equal to 1,200 times 1, that is 1,200. Then, divide both side by tangent 28 degrees. Para makancel natin to matitira ay X. So, that is X is equal to 1,200 over tangent 28 degrees. Then, pag kinalculate natin to sa calculator, using calculator, ita-type lang natin sa calculator yan, ang magiging value niya ay 2,256.87 meters. Therefore, yung distance ng airplane from the building is 2,256.87 meters. Number 3 example. A 14-foot ladder is leaning on a 13-foot wall. What is the angle of elevation formed by the ladder and the ground? Again, uh, illustrate natin para mas madali nating malaman or madali nating masolve yung problem. So, meron daw 14-foot ladder. Ito. That is 14-foot. That is leaning on the 13-foot wall. So, ito yung wall natin. That is 13-foot. Ang tanong, what is the angle of elevation formed by the ladder and the ground? So, from the ladder, itong ladder na to, ano daw yung angle na to na nabuo, itong angle na to, from the ground? Now, ano kayang uh, trigonometric ratio ang pwede natin gamitin in order to solve for this unknown angle? Kung makapansin natin, makakabuo tayo dito ng triangle, itong triangle na to. So, this is your reference angle. Etong side na to magiging opposite side nya and this side, etong side na nabuo dito that is the hypotenuse so kung meron tayong opposite and hypotenuse ang pinaka magandang trigonometric ratio ay sine so therefore that is sine theta so sine theta is equal to opposite over hypotenuse then substitute the value since wala tayong uh, angle so that is sine theta pa rin then, opposite is 13. Uh, hypotenuse is 14. Then, divide 13 by 14. So, that is sine theta is equal to 0 0.9286. Then, para makuha natin yung angle, ita type lang natin sa calculator. Yung shift sa other calculator, second function. Sa other naman, shift. Shift or second function, tapos sine. So, ang lalabas dyan ay sine raised to negative 1 or arc sine. Then, equal to 0 0.9286. I-type natin itong 0 0.9286. Ang kakalabasan niya or makikita natin yung value niyan, yung theta natin ay 68.22 degrees. So, ang angle na nabuo or yung angle of elevation na nabuo from the ladder, itong angle na to, and the ground is 68 point 22 degrees Sana maliwanag sa atin kung paano natin nakuha or inapply yung concept ng trigonometric ratios in solving real life problems Thank you for watching this video and see you on our next upload God bless to all of you